One of the most common questions I get is in regard to the frequency of training. Questions like, how often do you train? How often do your athletes train? That kind of thing. For the most part, people want this for their own purposes as to how long or how often they have to work out to look a certain way, and also how long. Here's the short answer. Three or four times a week and you'll be okay. Here's the longer answer. Training frequency is kind of a function of your goals and of the volume that you're training with. So if you're just doing a body part a day, then you can get away with four or five times a week as long as the volume isn't crazy. And this is assuming you live a normal life and you're not a professional athlete. For most people, time-wise, I think three or four times a week is plenty because you have a job, family, kids, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever it may be. And you also have to factor in your own recovery abilities. How often you sleep or how long you sleep, how much you eat, how little you eat, those kind of things. To expand further, we can look at this two ways. One, from a simple uh, aesthetic or bodybuilding perspective. What we're trying to do is stimulate a muscle to grow. Even if you're just trying to get toned, you really want a muscle to grow. There's not that, there's no such thing as just being toned. Either a muscle kind of grows or shrinks. And essentially what you're doing when you're working out is damaging a muscle. So it needs time to repair. So if you have a leg workout where you can barely walk when you leave, you might need a week or 10 days to recover from that workout, depending on your own capabilities and strength. Whereas if you only squat and do nothing else, you might be able to squat every other day or even every day. Again, it's just a function of the volume of work that you're doing. An additional note is that your own strength makes a difference. If you're very strong, a set of 10 is going to be more taxing on you than a set of 10 for a beginner. So keep that in mind as well. As you progress through your fitness journey, your capabilities will change. As you get stronger, you might actually, as you get stronger and in better shape, you might actually have to rest longer in between workouts if they're very taxing on you. Now, if we're talking from an athletic perspective, like someone practicing a skill such as Olympic weightlifting, you're doing very few exercises, but you're going to want to repeat them as often as possible. The more practice you can get on a snatch or clean and jerk, the better you're going to be. It's not simply about the strength of your body, where something slow like a bench press or a squat is more about just total strength. The Olympic lifts are about speed, reaction time, flexibility, and being able to do it with your eyes shut. So in that case, you're going to want to do them as often as possible. Since the Olympic lifts don't have much eccentric action and skipping all the science, that means you're not going to get that sore. You can repeat them more often. But if they're worked into a bodybuilding program, again, you might have to give your body more time to repair. So these are just things to consider when creating your own program or creating programs for others. Is what is their recovery ability? What's their strength level? And how much volume are they doing per day? Again, to sum it up, to make it simple for most people, three or four times a week is plenty. If your workouts are effective and efficient, that's really all you need for a good physique. If you want additional skills, you might want to work out more often. Or if you're trying to lose a lot of body weight, a lot of body fat, you might want to do some kind of activity every single day. But squatting every day, leg press every day, single leg squats, lunges every day, that's not going to work out in the long run. So either do low volume often or higher volume less often. Either way, in the end, you're going to accomplish the same goal. I will say anecdotally from my own experience, for physique purposes only, I find doing more volume in a single day versus a lot of volume frequently tends to be a little bit superior for the development of a physique for physique's sake. That's not to say you can't do train biceps or legs twice a week, but three or four times a week might be much if the volume's sufficient.